Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have a special treat because both myself and my brother here, Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout, have the day off from work. And it just so happened that he got this big box that he decided to let me have, right? Right, this came just a couple days For me. ago. For me, right? So anyway, these are the new Joy Toy Blood Angels Death Company Intercessors. Because we're gonna we're gonna read it like I'm at school here. Yeah, because, well, it's not on the camera right now, but obviously uh, you could tell from the iconography as well that they're obviously blood angels. But yeah, to me, this looks like a big, like when you buy the, um, it looks like the candy toys. That's what I was going to say, because it's got like, like, you know, collect them all type views of everybody. I'm surprised they don't have like their names underneath it. So I'm not sure how these are actually being sold in China or from Games Workshop itself, but... There are individual packages inside of it. Interesting. But this is not a toy. What is it then? It's an art piece. It's an articulated art piece. Okay. And just in case you weren't sure which chapter you were buying. And also make sure that you are over 15 years old. These are for mature eyes only. So I, I better flag it to make sure that there's, you know, mature content in this video. Okay, so that is kind of interesting. Inside we have four boxes. And I'm just going to pull them all out here. These are 1 18th scale, which translates to the size of what kind of G.I. Joe or Star Wars? Okay, really? This big old box? Yes. He doesn't even have a name. He's just Death Company Intercessors. Oh, no, they've got names. Why isn't it on the box? Uh, my thing back. I don't know. It, there's, a, there's a curve card included. So yeah, I've actually opened all these up because how could I resist opening them up and fondling them? Uh, you get mostly the same accessories Wait. with these guys. So is this the a same? Different. Is this the same? Is this each dude in the that set? That is each dude in the set. Okay, because I was like looking at them, I'm like, are those all the accessories? Okay, let's open this dude first. All right. So inside, you are greeted. So one thing. If you haven't really followed a lot of the modern Chinese high-end upscale action figure collectibles, uh, I got to give them really good credit for very good packaging. Um, it's not the nostalgic styrofoam trays of my childhood, and even Japan these days isn't really the nostalgic yeah, thing. thing they do anymore. Yeah, but. Well, you said you opened these. I did. Noisy! <laughs> okay, so we are greeted to a bunch of hands. So this one is supposed to be the squad sergeant. And you can I'm tell sure because you. he's got the tilt shield on his shoulder. Do the others not have no. tilt shields? No, and some of there actually are minor differences with the sculpts. Hmm. So... One thing Sparkle Track here was mentioning to me, and I hadn't realized, uh, but you can see they are very much following the tried and true heavy metal style of painting with the the edge highlighting. Yeah, because I don't know words, so it's kind of nice actually, and it's probably a lot better job than I would have done on it. I'm afraid to move him. How are the joints? Oh, the joints are actually really good. So he's very well articulated. Uh, there's, I think, just a standard ball joint in the hips, but you got double jointed knees. I think there's double ball joints in the ankles. There's a toe tilt, yeah, double elbow, double wrist ball. There's uh, several joints in the abdomen, so there's a good range of movement there. Does his pistol actually? Does he? No, okay. doesn't go in there. I was gonna say that's that's a big gun. Too bad you don't have any other action figures. GI Joes are this big now. No, these are space marines. They well, you are, said when they're when... properly scaled to them. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. So they're huge. Okay. You don't have any old GI Joes lying around here? No. I'm too cool for that. Uh huh. Interesting. They actually have a nice. Well, I'm sure it's not leather, but some kind of leather, uh, rubbery material yeah. for the strap. Vinyl-like straps. All right, I'm going to set him down. And then, of course, we have the chain sword, since he is supposed to be the sergeant. And well, 
Actually, I don't know about the Ultramarine set, but for the Death Company set, they all come with the Chainsword and Bolt Pistol. Well, that's what they're supposed to use, aren't they? Yeah, so I mean, they can all go close combat. Which was the one chapter... Well, no. Blood Angels had the... Yeah, it was Death Company. Death Company, I thought, were the ones that were always all close combat. Usually, yeah. Ah! He does have a name. That was Brothers Sergeant Samath. 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 It's the math. All right, who are you giving me? Uh, this is the guy with the grenade launcher. What's grenade launcher guy's name? Uh, I don't know. Where's his card? <laughs> this is... Give it to me. Uh, Arachlol. Arachlol. Brother Arachlol. All right, give me Grenadier Arachlol. I'm going to open this dude up. All right. Looking big, bad, and heroic. I think it's a shame that we don't have anything actually in the holsters. Which was the G.I. Joe line that had, like, the, the really hardcore accessories? Pursuit of Cobra. Was that it? Like, where they had, like, low light with the, like, yes. the collapsible... He had, like, the totally collapsible uh, sniper rifle with, like, seven parts that were, like, super tiny, like, individual bullet mm -hmm. shells. That was crazy. Those were cool figures. Yeah, I sold those, unfortunately, to help fund this channel, but it was worth it. It was totally worth it. That's a nice figure. Definitely smaller than the McFarlane ones. Um, much better quality. Or, like, the McFarlane ones, not as no, nice. No, I, they're... I haven't, I haven't pulled the trigger. They're decent for what they are. These are just better. Okay. All right, I'm going to pull out Brother Zohane. Now, an interesting thing about with them, if I can get it on here is there's actually the shoulders will slide out so there's a butterfly joint okay i like those i was just building when i built a, a kotobuki kit just the other day they actually i noticed they had a bunch of joints like that i was really surprised you don't see that traditionally on like bandai kits or bandai figures for that matter do you maybe in like the really expensive stuff well i was thinking like metal builds things like that Oh, here's Zohane. So like I said, the accessories are mostly going to be the same. The biggest difference is the one guy's got the grenade launcher. Okay, yeah, it looks, so yeah. Well, the helmets too, I would imagine, if there's any kind of individual marking. So you can see here, yep, the accessory sprue is pretty much the same, other than like what Sparkle Trout said, the grenade launcher guy. Hey, guys. Here, and just for scale reference... If you wanted to use them as like terminators or something. And now speaking of terminators, in March they are actually supposed to be making in scale chaos terminators. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I saw those. Um did you get these through a US store or did you go through like Shozy? Uh, I got these from Shozy. Shozy, yeah. And Shozy has super fast shipping. Yeah, so that's just our personal little plug. Uh, we both used Shozy for a lot of our exotic imports. And since, in fact, I've got one that's supposed to arrive either tomorrow or Wednesday, not Space Marine related, but you're slow. Give it to me. Well, well, first of all, the only issue I have is you don't have a squad of five. Yeah, but, but I mean, these were expensive enough as it is. I was going to say, did they make a captain or anything to go with them? Gravis captain is coming. With uh, Death Company? No. So, Ultramarine. Who cares about Ultramarines? Ultramarine players? Well, I, <laughs> as I've got one right there, yeah. Um, but honestly, just a fun little figure. If you're into the collectibles, I think if you're into, you know, just action figures in general, nice display pieces, I think these are pretty cool looking figures. Or right? maybe you just want a Space Marine and you don't want to pay to have a full army or paint. That's true. I mean, the paint job is quite nice. I don't see any, like, mistakes or, like, globs of paint like I used to see, like, on, was it NECA that did the Gears of War figures? Yeah, yeah like, you couldn't even move them. You can see kind of the butterfly joint there if I can get it in focus. I mean, the face Beep. paint isn't the best, but it's still really good. Face paint looks fine. It's better than I could do. I hate I painting mean, it, faces. It's pretty basic, but... But on the other hand, you don't even have to worry about the face painting if you don't want to, because you could just stick the helmets on there as well. So, touche. 
So yeah, um, I'm going to put a link to Show Z in case anybody is curious. If you guys want to grab, or I know they're doing pre-orders for the Chaos stuff right now, I think, still. Uh, I know that's coming up, and like Sparkle Trout said, there's the Gravis and the Intercessors and Passive Aggressive, whatever they're called. And dominators the passive aggressors passive aggressors that's it yeah so if you guys want to take a look at it uh definitely some cool stuff to be had there and shows he just has cool stuff anyway so yeah um uh, these are out there in the wild i don't know if you're going to be able to get these necessarily through gw but from what i remember at least from the very first releases the prices were pretty comparable yeah, all across the were. board yeah so it's not like if you get them online through like any of the online toy stores or whether they're in the U.S., Europe, China, Japan, wherever. I think GW's done a pretty good job of making sure like the pricing on these guys is fair everywhere. So it's not like you're going to get like a major score from one place or just totally ripped off in another. Otherwise, you know, I'm sure people are... Well, I don't know about the totally ripped off. I'm sure there's going to be... I'm sure Amazon will rip you off. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of scalpers out there. But yeah, something to definitely keep an eye on, especially if you're a Blood Angels fan or if you want to have a nice looking Marine. And one of the other things that's worth mentioning is you don't have to buy them in the big uh, candy store style box. You can get them all individually, right? Uh, no. No? Okay, no. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I, I take that back. At least the new ones. Some of them you can. Yeah, the new ones, the stuff coming out after these guys, I know for a fact that the Chaos ones were going to be individually yes. sold. Um, I don't remember about the Space Wolves or the Ultramarines. I'm not sure about them, but some of the figures they're doing individually. Others are coming in sets, but more than likely, if you're going to buy these from a retailer, I'm willing yeah. to bet you can get them parted out. Yeah, especially I think if you look on like third-party sellers, if you hit eBay and stuff, I think you should be able to get individual guys. Wow, that's a nice joints in the leg there too. And notice the markings on his armor, they're actually tampoed on. Yeah, these aren't like... So everything is painted. They're not silk screened or decals or... No. It's like burned in. So yeah, fun little nugget of toys that I dig. <laughs> Sparkle Trust giving me a hard time about my, my very limited vocabulary on camera here, but whatever. I don't care. So hopefully you guys enjoy these. Just a fun little something different here. And with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane. And Percival Sparkle Trout. And we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.